These countries themselves all do have their own national security laws, such as the United States, which has uh, some 12 national security laws, uh, including terrorism legislation, including the Homeland Security Act, including the Patriot, the Patriot Act, uh, and so on. Uh, and they all have substantial agencies which are responsible for enforcing that type of legislation. Uh, and these people are very happy to see Hong Kong unable to properly defend itself uh, because that uh, enables them to take advantage uh, of the weaknesses in our legal system uh, in order to exploit the system uh, and to try to undermine uh, China by using hostile forces here in Hong Kong. So cl quite clearly, no society would allow this, uh, this type of situation to carry on. And why do I say that? Well, it's targeted primarily at those who are determined to undermine national security. Uh, and apart from that, we retain our independent uh, judiciary, we retain a first-class uh, legal system, we retain an excellent uh, uh, financial system, uh, and the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights applies here in Hong Kong, and that guarantees the fundamental rights uh, of Hong Kong people including such things as the right to a fair trial, uh, the right to association, the right to freedom of opinion, uh, and matters of that sort. Uh, and so people can feel assured that their, their legal rights uh, are being protected uh, and that the, uh, this, the incoming law uh, won't affect that situation.